So it is, I think it's February 7th. Um, and um, just a quick story. We were in South Africa getting ready to go on a hike. Oh, look, look at the swans down there. In the, they got their own little heated pond. It's very cool. They stay there all year during the summers also. But then they heat it in the winter, so they have their little pond. And then you can't see them. They're behind the house now. Um, some ducks too, they got some ducks. And the llamas are usually right below us. Anyway, so yeah, we're in South Africa and uh, we're getting ready to go up uh, into a little country called Lesotho. And it is, um, it's very mountainous and basically sits on a plateau. Um, and, and so it's very uh, um, undeveloped. It's almost like yeah, com going just completely going back in time, a hundred years to go up there. So anyway, so we uh, where you drop your car off. I mean, this is you know it's in the middle of nowhere, and and you can't you can't leave anything anywhere. It'll get stolen. Um, even they told us uh, that to, to bring our boots into the tent uh, at night and tie them together um, because they the natives would cut the tent and steal your boots and if they can only get one they would steal one <laughs> and you know we didn't we didn't have a problem with that but the guys where we left the uh, where we left the car was a little uh, enclosure, fenced, you know, barbed wire enclosure, uh, and uh, there were two huts, two stone huts, very small. One had like I think eight bunk beds in it. That was the the tourist one. And no heat, and it was cold. Um, and then the other one uh, was about the same size, but they had a wood heater. Anyway, so we pull up, and as we're getting out of the car, my wife smells ganja, uh, and she she whispers to me, "Ganja," you know, and none of the guys overheard her say it. Anyway, so they help us take our packs into the into our hut, and they said, "Oh, when you, you know, when you're settled, uh, you know, come back over to our hut because we've got we've got a wood." stove if you want to you know if you want to get warm so we did and I had a bottle of whiskey brand new bottle of whiskey and so I took it in and uh, said do you, you guys want some whiskey they were impressed I don't think anyone there had ever shared a bottle of whiskey with them um, and they, they you know it's only only one of them spoke English the other one absolutely no English he was blacker than night. Um, uh, anyway, so we, we had some good conversations. The guy speaking English, he, his dream was to move to Jamaica. That's what his dream was. Um, and uh, anyway, so we have a few whiskeys, and he said, well, uh, can I share some of our tradition? And I said, yeah, yeah. So he pulls out a folded up square of newspaper and opens it up and there's about a quarter of an ounce of pot in there and then he tears off a piece of the newspaper and proceeds to roll the whole thing up it's like a, definitely this is a Cheech and Chong size joint and uh, and then he just slobbers on it and sticks it together <laughs> he lights it up and passes it to me. I take a big hit off of it. I pass it to my wife, and she's kind of like, uh, yeah, she doesn't know what to do with this big slobbery joint. So she just kind of tries to put her mouth over the slobber part 
take a hit. I think she only took one hit of it. Anyway, um, so uh, we uh, we we had the lots of lots of good discussions, and then um, you know I, I kept asking him. I said, you know, you, you know, we're going hiking for like five days. Can you just sell sell me a little? And he goes, no man, that's uh, against the rules. I lose my job. And so I asked him like several times, no, 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 no. He said, no, it's against the rules, man. I lose my job. Anyway, so we're leaving the next morning, and and uh, we uh, got they they came out and and you know and uh, took some pictures and stuff, and and uh, I I got the a description of how to how to find his house when we got back. They have no street signs, and, they, and, and you know, it's all dirt roads. There's, you can't distinguish anything. Anyway, so he gave me these detailed instructions, destructions, instructions. We never found it. I, I tried to look, but we ended up getting lost. And, um, so anyway, as we're leaving, he gives, he gives his hand out to shake my hand. He puts his hand in mine, and immediately um, I knew what he had done. You know, he pressed into my hand and back, um, and uh, so we we had quite a a, a nice trip. Um, we camped in caves on on the mountaintop. Probably had been lived in for thousands of years. Um, and. Uh, one morning I got up and went to the creek to get some water. We had, of course, a water purifier. And there was a tribesman there um, bathing under the waterfall. It was pretty cool. Um, he just had the one single cloth. Um, so he was washing under the waterfall. And when he finished, he wrapped his cloth around and left with his big shepherd stick. Um, yeah, fun experience. So, see you later. Bye. We're hitting mid-station.